the long-term solution is really going to be dietary. And the dietary features that are important, and they're important to really understand, is high fluid, high fiber. And by high fluid, I'm talking about six to eight cups of liquid a day. By high fiber, I'm talking about uh, three or four vegetables and fruits every single day. I'm talking about changing the grains to whole grains. Specifically, I have a recommendation that the child should start every single morning off with a high-fiber cereal. That they should Is there any particular one that you would suck? There are many. You have to look on the side of the box when you go to the supermarket, and anyone that has five grams of fiber or more will be sufficient. Is the old-fashioned oatmeal a good source? Oatmeal is an excellent source. Cheap? And cheap. And it lowers your cholesterol. And it lowers your cholesterol. All of the high-fiber foods will lower your cholesterol. So the constipation I always tell the parents who really need extra convincing is your body's way of telling you that something is fundamentally wrong, not just in the, in the uh, fact that your stool is firm, but patients who have high-fiber diets there are epidemiologic studies that show there's less colon cancer, there's less atherosclerotic heart disease, and there's less gallbladder disease and cholecystectomies, all uh, in patients who have high-fiber diet. So, again, the specifics would be a high-fiber cereal in the morning. You want to switch the white bread to whole wheat bread. And you want to have a starch at dinner time, which is high fiber. So you want to switch a white rice to brown rice, which also has vitamins. You want to switch the white or yellow pasta to wheat pasta, corn, uh, barley, uh, couscous, uh, legumes. They're all rich in fiber. So typically... And not one of them is advertised Saturday morning with a cocktails ago, is it? What, um, what uh, I'll usually have is the child have a whole grain cereal for breakfast, two cups of juice and water, some fruit with breakfast, and then a fiber supplement. Fiber supplements um, would be uh, Metamucil, Citrusil, Consil. Uh, the newest one is uh, a little bit better, not because of any efficacy, but simply because it's less gritty, and so the child who is finicky, as most of them are, will take it more readily, and that's called that Benny Fiber. Benny Fiber. And all of these are purchasable in the uh, larger drugstores or the supermarkets. So Probably everybody should be taking these things. Well, or just eating better, healthy foods themselves. It's, it's not, there's no... Dr. Oz has a book on... Uh, you, the owner manual, talks about that in great detail. Uh huh. Even dieting. They think if you have a high-fiber diet... You a high-fiber diet will, in fact, have slow down your metabolism as well. Uh, you your digestive process. A, a nice way to lose weight. And as a consequence, you, you, after you eat a high-fiber meal, your appetite is not as high. You're not as unsatisfied as you are with eating a bag of potato chips. And so patients who are coming to me to lose weight, a component of what I do in those groups is a high-fiber diet for exactly that kind of a reason. Another